Matt, 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 Matt. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another groundbreaking MeetTheMatch.com story. Ladies and gentlemen, the mats aren't just about good looks and snappy dressing. No, we can go out and make up a sports story just like any good yellow journalist slash sports gossip spreader. That's right, and this bogus investigative journalism takes us to the mean and dirty streets of the Sundance Film Festival. Matt, we're here on historic Main Street in Park City, Utah. Utah, the home of Mitt Romney. Uh, Brigham Young, the Mormons, the Utah Jazz, and the Sundance Film Festival. How are you out there, buddy? <laughs> I know you're cold there in Sundance, Utah, Matt. Yeah, it is a little chilly out here, sure, sure. <laughs> now that you're a Sundance veteran, Matt, what's your take on how it changed? Matt, it's basically an influx of stars and deal makers. Uh, case in point, we've been rubbing elbows, literally, with the likes of Woody Harrelson, Luke Wilson, <laughs> Tom Arnold, and Neil Young. <laughs> Ask Neil Young if he wants a Southern man around anyhow. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Matt, is uh, Woody related to Buddy Harrelson? Uh, no, Woody Harrelson is not related to former Major League shortstop and manager Buddy Harrelson. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, let's get back to our report, Matt. Right, Matt. Robert Redford, the founder and shepherd of the Sundance <laughs> Film Festival, played a character named Roy Hobbs in The Natural the baseball documentary. Uh-huh. Yet he's basically been invisible here at his own festival. Fuff. Yeah. We think that Redford could have been using HGH or steroids or <gasps> performance enhancers to make the natural more believable and more significant in terms of baseball history. No question. <laughs> Oh, hold on, we, we've got a passerby right now. Sir, what is your name? Tennessee Johnny. <laughs> Tennessee Johnny, uh, I'm just talking to my partner Matt back in the studio in New York on MeetTheMatch.com. Matt, I'm actually outside of the studio today. I thought it would be fitting since you're outside too in Utah. We'll talk about that when I get back. Right. Oh, hold on a second, we have a, a P. Diddy in his uh, SUV going behind us right now, yeah. Uh, what's your name? Ellen. Ellen, are you from Sweden or something? Um, not originally, no. No, but somewhere down the road you were. Somewhere in the family line, yeah. I'm from here. I'm original. <laughs> you're you're a local, as they say. Uh, well, Salt Lake City. Well, I'm a little local, if you know what I mean. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Have you seen Mr. Redford? No, I personally have not seen Mr. Redford. Wait, what did she say, Matt? She has not seen Mr. Redford, Matt. No. 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 I have not seen him. I have not seen him. Uh-uh. Oh. I have not seen him. It's a little suspicious that nobody's seen you, Bob. Bob? Bob is Robert Redford, but we usually call him Bob. That's... Have you ever seen the movie The Natural? And if you haven't, just say you have. I have. Yes. I love that movie. I love that movie. It's one of my favorite movies. Boy, he really likes that movie. Wow. You haven't seen Mr. Redford, the founder of Sundance, in light of perhaps Roy Hobbs having done performance enhancers? Good question. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that is quite odd. Don't you just think some of the things in the film were a tad suspicious? <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. Definitely. It's a very political question. <laughs> yeah. You don't, you don't want to comment at this time? I'm going to plead the fifth. <laughs> Tearing the leather off the ball, hitting the clock face, shattering the lights. Come on. I, 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 I don't see any way you could hit the leather off of a baseball. Who's kidding who here? <laughs> it all ties in. He improved and became this great player at such an advanced age. Does it sound familiar? <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Barry. I used to play for the San Francisco Giants. <laughs> he had the bloody shirt before Kurt Schilling had the uh, bloody sock. The bloody shirt, striking out the whammer on three straight pitches. There's more to the story than meets the eye. So Matt, it is safe to say that arguably, possibly, it could have been that Robert Redford did use performance enhancers for his character, Roy Hobbs, to make the movie a little bit more believable, but it also made the movie a little more unnatural. Live from Main Street in Park City, Utah at the Sundance Film Festival, Meet the Mats reporting. Great job, Matt. Go rest and warm up with a nice hot piping cup of Dunkin' Donuts Java. <laughs> Matt, we're going to percolate on that one and uh, go get a cup of Java with Tennessee Johnny. Let's go. All right, Tennessee. All right, buddy. I'll see you when you get back home. Matt, that is just another American tragedy. Yeah, when it hits low like a fictitious character, We've hit rock bottom. Yeah. A sad story. But the upside is you got to hang with Tennessee Johnny. I did. And Neil Young loved our Mats Maddox hockey segment. <laughs> Who doesn't? Well, it's time to 
Cut and run. Let's do that, Matt. Let's cut and run. So, so everybody. Get to New York sports here. Get to New York sports here. Peanuts. Beer here. Peanuts, beer here.